Virgo, I hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle for your convenience. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I'm so happy to have you here. This is your person of interest, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. The bottom of the deck energy is, when we look at this, we see you considering a decision or an offer that's being made. We're, it may be for your career because we have a lot of coins here with the two of wands. However, Virgo, this is a love reading. So when we look at that energy, it looks as though you may have worked with somebody and there is a love offer coming in. Uh, there is a decision that you need to make. Your person is somewhat uncertain about what that decision will be in regards to them. So when we look at what spirit is bringing into the energy of this reading, foggy bog right now virgo the cards are you know that spirit is really saying that you need to have patience uh, with this process with your person we also see guardians of the land protection you and your person are in a very tender phase from what i can tell of your relationship and so protecting yourself protecting the relationship itself is going to be very important for you know your love interest as well as you transmutation i've been getting that all through the readings this week transmuting is when we take something and like an alchemist we think of it differently we start to break out of our old patterns and our molds and the things that hold us back so spirit is saying be very patient you know, be be protective of both you and your lover. And transmuting is really ri rising above the discomfort or the, the flames of passion or the things that can get in your way egocentrically. So we're really looking at having the ability to see the other person's viewpoint and to respond accordingly. So let's look and see what we have. We have, in this reading, we have this um, their thoughts. For their thoughts, we have, they want to throw caution to the wind. They want to invest in the relationship when they think of you. The Seven of Swords, they do not know how you feel, Virgo. Your person is mystified. When we look at this card of the Seven of Swords, it's like special operations. Special forces has have moved in to take reconnaissance of the situation and that's what we see with your person they're seeking answers you know they're kind of they're trying to do it in sort of a sneaky way they don't really want to ask you a direct question so in this instance i am not too offended by that seven of swords seven of swords can be a negative card but in this instance contextually we see your person is seeking answers they're hiding their own intentions because they do not know quite where you stand so let's look what the clarifiers are in terms of their intentions with you, Virgo. We see the Four of Swords. So when they threw caution to the winds with you, they definitely felt as though it didn't go very well. They felt very much like they didn't end up sort of on their feet. The Tower card speaks to the fact that there were things that you said or did that were surprising to them that made them feel they didn't have much of a chance with you, Virgo. So we see this also, the Queen of Cups. This is a person who, when they think of you, they go all mushy inside. <laughs> they feel a really strong pull towards you. The Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. It's all about wanting you around them, wanting to be near you, wanting to nurture the relationship. So when they think of you, they think of beautiful, beautiful energies. But they also do not think that you are willing to really do the work. So the Queen of Swords says that I think that you've said some very pointed things to this person that have made them feel somewhat like you would not do the work or that there's something going on in your life because I don't think you were harsh with them. I feel as though you told them that there's a lot going on in your, your life that really requires you to stay focused. Uh, for many of you, when I get this Ten of Wands on the guy's back, it's like oppressive work situations. And Virgo, you guys tend to be workaholics and you know it. So it shows that this per you did make this person feel loved. Okay, so when they do think of you, they think of you as 
someone who could love them very deeply, but someone who doesn't have the ability or the time to give to the relationship to develop it. And that basically you may have stated that to them directly or indirectly with your actions. We get the devil energy. They want to invest, but they're going to hold back. They just feel as though it could be a waste of their energy or their time to invest in a relationship because the moon card says that they just don't know how you feel, Virgo. Your person's really a bit at a loss. When they think of you, they, they just get kind of pulled underwater. We see the moon card over here, too, in terms of their actions. So whenever we get repetitive cards, we have to pay attention. So when we look at how they feel in their heart space, the heart space energy speaks to some pain. We have the two of swords, almost like they can't stand knowing maybe that they feel rejected by you. You know, they feel as though maybe something about them isn't good enough. Um, the justice card also shows that that's Libra energy. That's seventh house marriage energy. They want so badly to have balance with you. They want so badly to be able to make a committed relationship. But when we get their heart space, this person feels pretty wounded. Um, that five of swords energy um, they just feel like they feel rejected so in their heart space it's pretty tough you know they're losing this sort of sense of love towards you because they feel pretty rejected so now you know their feelings are not your responsibility but it's my job to tell you what i see so we see material success. The six of coins says that you don't really have time for them. That's basically the message that they're getting, that you don't pay attention to them because the six of coins, you're working, you're making your money, you know, you work hard. A Virgo, you guys know that. I've never known a Virgo who doesn't work really hard. Um, you work smart, but we get the Princess of Swords too. So your person, again, is feeling this energy of this sort of very innocent um, desire to come forward in the relationship. Chariot card, honey, I'm home, Cancerian energy. The justice card is clarifying the justice card. So the thing that I like about your person is that they are very balanced in their heart space. They, they're they very rational, but they're also very tender and loving. The two of coins speaks to the fact that they may feel juggled in the relationship. You may actually have someone else in your life because we see a lot of uncertainty with this person. They just kind of don't know where they stand. The fool card, they want a new beginning with you. They want to be able to love you. They want to be able to say, honey, I'm home or for you to say, honey, I'm home. And we have wealth, 10 of coins. So the Five of Swords is being feeling that they've been wronged, you know, in their heart space. They feel as though, you know, you have rejected them and because you're really busy building wealth. You know, the Ten of Coins, though, speaks to the fact that they would also love to be in a relationship with you, a long-term commitment. In their heart space, they know what they want. It's you. We see material happiness, which is nine of cups. That is a card of wish fulfillment. So I will say this, Virgo, this person really loves you. They love you very deeply. They want to have a victory with you. They want to introduce you to all their friends. So their heart space energy is very powerful. But when we see the first few cards, they don't feel like you reciprocate that love. So when we look at their intentions, we see the Two of Wands. They do intend to make a decision. We see the Two of Wands here, right? You've made a decision, but your person may make an offer to you with the Ace of Coins, the Two of Wands twice. Your person, though, Virgo, I will say this, they have Virgo energy also. And what we see is that they're very successful. They don't need any money. They don't need any wealth from you. Your person doesn't need that sort of material uh, advantage or, you know, they, they just don't have any desire to take anything from you. The Two of Wands energy is speaking to the fact that they want this to work out. But if the two of you can't come together, because temperance is their intention, Temperance is about being balanced and making things work out. Your person is not going to stay in limbo 
forever because they're thinking, look it, I want it to work out. It's my intention to work things out with Virgo. But if it doesn't work out, I will be, I will have to look at a change in my life. I will have to look at other decisions that I can make for love. We also see their intention as a Knight of Cups. They are coming towards you with an offer. You know, something very romantic. They're not asking much, the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a very grounded, down-to-earth person. So they're coming to you with this energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So your person's very powerful. And look at here what we have. We have the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. So the two of you are very well matched. Interesting energy because the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, so you are dealing with somebody who works very hard like yourself. The Emperor card, wow, they have total intention to, to take charge of their decision making. When we look at the Emperor card, that is the leadership card. That is Aries energy. They will take action. That is their intention. It's to be very passionate, very communicative, very open with you. And they're not going to try to hide anything. This person intends to make you a part of their future. That is what they want. They don't know if tiki torches and starry nights are in your future, but their intention with you is to have that. Look at this. We have the Abundance card, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is best friends, falling in love with your best friend. They really feel as though they have a very, they have a deep love for you, Virgo. And this person hides it a lot because in the first set of cards, the under, underlying framework for which this reading is coming through we saw your person is very good with that seven of swords energy of really hiding their needs and their wants so we do get the you know we get the ten of swords here which is you know at the end of the day if you do not accept their love if you do not bring them into your life in some very tangible you know basic way because they've chosen you the three of wands and the Three of Cups, and that's the Trinity. They will feel totally defeated, and they will leave the relationship. So that is their intention right now, that if they can't have what they want, this is a successful person. They're accustomed to getting and being successful in any endeavor, including love. So let's see what we have, Virgo. We have the Moon card again. Why is the Moon card the Star card? Your person does not... Okay, so this is their actions. If you do not recognize, if you leave them underwater without really knowing how you feel, and if they feel that you don't see what they bring to the table, and you are dealing with somebody who's very powerful, Virgo. You're dealing with somebody who's basically, quote unquote, a rock star in their own right. You're dealing with somebody who would be an amazing partner. But if you don't recognize it, um, you know, we see this person willing to do this Ten of Wands, you know, give up, give up the ghost, move forward in their life. They don't want to do it, but they will do it. And, and so their action will be that. So we see pleasure. We see the Six of Cups. Nice. So their actions are very much to be very sweet, to be very kind. And if you reciprocate, they will stay around if they feel they can build a future with you. If not, they're going to pack their bags. Now, what I like about this reading is that your person's very clear about what they want and what they're going to do. So a lot of times the readings unfold so that the person themselves does not know quite what's going to do, what's going to happen or what they're going to do. But we see your person as looking at things from a different perspective, giving you a very, very wide range of possible <clears throat> decisions that you can make with them. But the Nine of Swords says that at the end of the day, they lose sleep over this. So we go from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So the energy is, is your person feels as though they've invested a lot and, you know, they want it to turn out, but it does bother them tremendously. If they feel like they can't have a win, this is a person who will pack up and leave 
and that is what I see happening if they can't win. So now we have the Nine of Pentacles again. So this is a card that is duplicated, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So your person's actions, I do feel a very strong vibe that the two of you probably work together um, or you've collaborated together. And I feel as though you may have met that way. So I feel as though your person would keep, they would very much keep a cordial, professional relationship with you uh you guys the two of you are divine partners because we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles but when we get the nine of pentacles this shows me that you know your person looks like they're very single they're very desirable you know single and ready to mingle as we like to say but the energy of your person is very much they want so much to have you in a love relationship but they feel pretty defeated right now. They feel as though it's not really possible. That being the case, they will continue to have a cordial relationship and then, you know, whatever happens, happens. But they will go forward in their life without you. They will find another love is how they're looking at the situation. So Virgo, I hope this was helpful. Helpful, Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me if you like the this kind of reading. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.